Welcome to Geraldine's Bible and Song Sharing. I am singer and songwriter Geraldine Peng. This program is to share or guide the lost in having a better understanding and personal relationship with our Lord God, Creator and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, let's join me for today's Bible Messages. Hello there, this is singer and songwriter Geraldine Peng and I will be playing songs from my story concept album, Moonstone City. I am playing these songs, Honesty, Take His Hand, and Personal Healer, and will mention biblical chapters and quotes which inspired me in completing these three songs. When I first stepped into Circular AA, I struggled with defining a higher power which was very vague in definition. I was raised in a ritualistic religious denomination who never used the King James Version Bible and never explained or guided us with the understanding of who God is and how or why or who Jesus Christ had appeared and how or why Jesus Christ was in relations to God. But it took me a few more years as I swam in the tide of ongoing fear, insecurities and emptiness other than using substitutes, be it smoking more cigarettes, chomping on sweetie candies, or drinking more sweet aerated water, thinking it could pacify me or change my emotions and thoughts in dealing with my earthly circumstances. It was only by the grace of God, Jesus Christ, was I led to understand the significance of who, why, or how the Bible is about that is a book of life and guidelines to living. And truly not in subjection to my human fallible, aka self-centered, I, self, and me, which is self-will run riot in the making, of a baby student status, but of God's will and time according to his word in Lord God Jesus Christ. Here we go. Honesty, take his hand and personal healer. It never seemed ever enough. It never gets high enough for me. The things I've loved the night before Surely brings fear the next day
Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God who came in the flesh as a sonship, by which Jesus Christ is that great mystery 
by whom all things were created. That word was made flesh. John chapter 1 verse 14. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. 1 Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. Even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 3. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles should be fellow hearers and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God, according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and assess with confidence by the faith of him. In medical terms, alcoholism is defined as disease. What does the Bible say about diseases or sicknesses? Psalms 103 verse 3 Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healed all thy diseases. Exodus 23 verse 25 And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Psalms 103 verse 2 to 4 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who heal all thy diseases. Who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Isaiah 53 verse 4 to 5 Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Acts 19 verse 12 So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Change, renew. Second Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Second Corinthians 4, verse 16 to 18 Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Steps in the Holy Spirit of our Lord God Jesus Christ. Proverbs 16 verse 9 A man's heart divided his way, but the Lord directed his steps. 
to repent, accept and believe upon faith upon our Lord God Jesus Christ. Romans 10 verse 13 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Holy Spirit of our Lord God Jesus Christ is a comforter and wonderful counsellor. Isaiah 9 verse 6 For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. John 15 verse 26 But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. First John 4 verse 19 We love because he first loved us. Humble ourselves to our Lord God Jesus Christ. Proverbs 3 verse 6 in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Philippians 2 verse 9 to 11 Wherefore God also had highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 14 If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Second Peter 3 verse 9 The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Proverbs 28 verse 13 He that covered his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Acts 2 verse 38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. John 15 verse 7 If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Prayer to our Lord God Jesus Christ Philippians 4 verse 6 Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 Pray without ceasing. Matthew 6 verse 7 But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Luke 11 verse 9 And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 26 verse 41 Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and shew thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Psalms 34 verse 17 The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it, and deliver them out of all their troubles. Obeying and acknowledging the will and time of our Lord God Jesus Christ. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Romans 12 verse 2 And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. First Thessalonians 5 verse 18 
in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. 1 Peter 2 verse 15 For so is the will of God, that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Matthew 6 verse 33 to 34 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Faith in our Lord God Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 5 That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Second Corinthians 5 verse 7 For we walk by faith, not by sight. Romans 10 verse 17 So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Hebrews 11 verse 6 but without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9 For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Luke 1 verse 37 for with God nothing shall be impossible. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 to 3 Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Sharing and praying together. Matthew 18 verse 20 For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. You have healed me of all my sicknesses. You have healed me of all my pain. You have healed me of all my diseases You have taken away all my fears It is by your stripes that I am always healed You never turn your back on me Like I'm the only one in your eyes I'm made strong and young Like a soaring eagle across the sky Faith is all that is needed It's by your stripes, Jesus, that I'm healed. Jesus, that I'm healed. It's by your stripes, Jesus, that I'm healed. Jesus, that I'm healed. It's the abundance of my heart where my mouth speaks. I sing and say out loud your name, Jesus. With faith and thankfulness, as I know it's all about grace. My personal healer, whom I surrender. Jesus. 
this year the shepherd of my soul I am always made perfect in you You have never abandoned me and never Thank you for tuning to Geraldine's Bible and Song Sharing with me, singer and songwriter Geraldine Peng. This program is supported and sponsored by listeners like you. For information, www.geraldinepng.com Now, until next time, remember, Jesus Christ is our Lord God, Creator, and Savior.